Yo. If I'm not mistaken, this is our third or fourth Tom McDonald video. And this is about the cutoff that I give people when I try to decide whether they're gonna be someone I listen to or not. So, roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider becoming part of this little family we got at the end of the video. Now, I've done a couple Tom McDonald videos in the past, and to say that my impression of him is less than stellar would definitely be an understatement at this point. But everybody's saying that this new track, I need to give it a shot, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, all right. I explained in the first Tom McDonald video that I normally give a new artist like four songs to determine and whether or not I'm gonna fuck with them or not. And so far, if I'm not mistaken, we're 0 for 2, but we keep an open mind around here and you never know, this could be the song where I'm like, oh, okay, now I see the hype. So there's really not too much to say, we're just gonna get on into it. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earn, it's just like the channel, links down in the description below. We got Tom McDonald, again, let's get it. I'm the rapper that these other rappers jealous of. I made more off CDs than rappers who are selling drugs, true story. Every. All right, first off, I like the video more already, just like the straightforwardness of the video. Black background, white t-shirt, one light on him. I like that, but I don't know how true the statement of he's the rapper that other rappers are jealous of. I don't know who's jealous of this man. And you already know how much I don't like the whole played out argument of a drug dealing rapper or someone who comes from someone who comes from the hood and their only their only outlet into trying to get out is the drug game. It's one thing to talk about the rappers that are like popping pills and doing drugs, like all for the aesthetic of it. It's a whole nother thing to not know where the rapper comes from in terms of why he was dealing drugs in the first place. And also to say that you made more money than some of these drug dealing rappers, boy Jay-Z still spending money from 88. I know he's not talking about Jay-Z, but I just wanted to throw that line in there. It's from Dead Presidents too. I made more off CDs than rappers who are selling drugs. True story. Every single aspect independent. I got texts from presidents and major labels. I ain't read yet. Told my manager I'd knock him out and he was like the homie. Then I fired him. If you're watching this, I'm sorry, dog. Au revoir. I don't need nobody's help. It's me and Nova by ourselves. Come here, babe. This is the entire team. Nobody else. I conceptualize. I like that. Okay, I like that. I like that. He's obviously shouting out his girl from what I know. She directs his music videos from that's what somebody told me on the last video I did. Leaving market executives or leaving executives of major record labels on red. You know, like we like, yes, they're offering me deals, but I'm just not taking them. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's nothing new. But I already like this song more than the last two songs because it's talk. It's more of a traditional rap song. This is the entire team, nobody else. I conceptualize, produce, and write like every record. Me and Nova work the hooks, then they're mixed and mastered by Evan. This is homegrown. Shout out all the rappers who have thrown stones. I'ma die rich while your casket full of broke bones. I ain't gonna respond to all your disses. Look, I get it. Your video. That was a tight little line. He said, you're throwing stones, but I'm gonna die rich while you just, you're full of broken bones. While your casket's full of broken bones. Cause sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's a fire line. I ain't gonna respond to all your disses. Look, I get it. Your videos get no views. You say my name and people click it, but I'm different. You need clout and you're desperate to make a living. But my bank account already full. I counted seven digits like y'all attack me with this is attract all the critics. I'll laugh and all right, all right, all right, all right. I wasn't waiting for the beat switch up to go into that flow. And I don't even know if Tom McDonald knows who I am or if he's talking about reactors that don't like, you know, his music or whatever, or rappers that don't like his music or whatever. I'm not using his name for clicks. I'm using his name to try to figure out if I like this dude or not. I don't use anybody's names for clicks, really. If I don't like the shit, I'm gonna tell you. Well, I counted seven digits like, y'all attack me with this is attract all the critics. I'll laugh at predictions, surpass all the limits. The whacker, the rapper, the more he's angered by the fact that I'm winning. I'm stacking the millions, it's tragic to witness. I can't with children hey no playlist no pay clicks no fake he said it's worse than cancer and children mm. and he said the whacker the rapper the more he's angered by the fact that i'm winning you get them dubs you get them m's in your bank account fam i ain't mad at you for that and i do like the switch up of the music video to go from like that very still camera and the white t-shirt like it's very it's very calm it's very it's very it's very innocent compared to this when the beat switches up he goes into a black tank top and we got all the chains back on he's got the camera going everywhere you know it's a good visual representation of what's happening in the song no playlist no pay clicks no fake rappers call me gay because my braids ping yo man go crazy so wasted front row at my show i'm her favorite I'm famous they basically hate that i made it get paid more in a day than they claim on their paycheck i'm patient but say my name again i ain't playing i'll buy the place that you stay in then raise the rent to the space in your parents basement is vacant they call me privileged y'all can't admit that 
Mmm, that was nice. I'll buy the place that you stay in because you stay in your mama's basement. You haven't even left the house. And I'll raise the rent till that space is vacant to the point that you and her or them can't afford it anymore. That's how much I got it and you don't. I like this song a lot more than the first two. Guaranteed, 100%. I mean, there's really nothing to say on any of these bars other than the ones that I'm pointing out because it's all pretty straightforward. Like, he's bragging about the fact that he's so successful. He's bragging about his money. He's bragging about the fact that his name gets more clicks and all that. It's kind of ironic that he's bragging about his money, though, because the same people that he's targeting, the same people he's going after with this song, they brag about their money. So he's trying to be a different rapper than they are, but talking about the same subject matter, you know? And has anybody ever called him gay because his braids were pink? I, don't, I mean, I don't know enough about the backstory. I don't know if that's a legitimate line or if he's just like, if he's just putting emphasis on the argument. Basement is vacant. They call me privileged. Y'all can't admit that I'm gifted. I did it without a label's assistance. I made the business decisions. I overcame the addictions. Lived in the streets, got evicted, kicked it with killers and strippers. But still, my vision was different. I bought a mic, started spitting, produced the beats, and I mixed it. I turned my hand into a fist and flipped the bird to the system. I prayed I'd finish my mission and keep my image consistent. I fixed the parts that were missing and switched the gas and the pistons. It's mathematics and physics. Mm. I had to travel. Yo, he's fucking going off right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is a good ass song. This is a way better song, like 100%, not even just on the rap side, just on sonically, the way the song sounds and then lyrically what he's talking about and then the rhyme schemes and everything Everything about this song is so much better than the last two that I saw. This shit that he's talking about is real right here and I respect that. That's one of the things that I didn't respect about the last two videos, especially the first one with Dax is like, right here he's talking about people using his name for clickbait so that way they can get clicks and views but then in that song he's basically using the the mumble rapper the the drugged out rapper he's using that shit for clickbait against people that don't that don't like that shit so obviously they're, they're gonna click on his video and watch that video and it just it just it was such a marketing ploy and he can say that it's not all he wants but that's basically what it is because that that argument is gonna get clicks from that demographic that doesn't like rap so they're gonna click on a rapper that's talking about all the things that they don't like about rap and he's agreeing with them so it's a marketing play at the end of the day but this right here is like he's straight up talking about his struggle talking about his burdens talking about his life where he came from to get to be in the position that he's in and how he did it all by himself and i can respect that shit a hundred percent he did it without the record labels the circles that he was in you know he had a bigger vision than the circles that he was in with the drug dealers and the drug users and addicts and strippers and just that body like that low life mentality that people don't ever want to get out of He's saying he had the bigger vision to be bigger than that. And he knew that it would come to fruition. He spoke it into existence. That's dope. And he did it all on his own. Literally turned his hand to a fist to fight against all the all the backlash that he was going to get. And then he turned that fist into a middle finger and said, fuck the system. That's tight. I like that for sure. The gas and the pistons, it's mathematics and physics. I had to travel the distance. I had to add some ambition and then subtract my suspicions. I wanted castles and riches. He said his mathematics and physics, he had to add, he had to add an addition of like confidence and subtract the suspicions and subtract all the doubt in his head in order to get, see, this is, this is fire right here. This wordplay, this, this rhyme scheme right here, it's, it's all dope. I can respect this a hundred percent more, especially with his image that he portrays with the tattoos and the grill and the chains and all that. I can respect that coming from this version of himself because all that stuff is from a past life. He's burdened. It's from his burdens that he, that he overcame. He didn't want to get rid of the tattoos because it's a reminder, or at least that's what I think personally. Whereas on the other song, he was trying to be all highbrow about, about the rap game. When he looks at the, and he presents this image in a certain way, it was hypocritical on the last on the last song, but this is more like he's embracing it, you know? Travel the distance, I had to add some ambition and then subtract my suspicions. I wanted castles and riches, headed for caskets or prisons. I battled glasses of liquor and cabinets packed with prescriptions. Hmm. He said I was headed for caskets or prisons, that I was headed for death or jail. And I had to battle addictions with the bottle and with the prescriptions in, in the in the prescription cabinet, in the medicine cabinet. That's fire right there. I like that. And still these rappers wanna sneak this all over my Facebook. Always trying to tweet. I ain't gonna keep this a secret. My marketing genius, the algorithm triggered by exploiting your weakness. And y'all can call me clickbait and gimmicks, I call me rich. A million monthly listens on Spotify. So I'm about to drop a I wish this was definitely an explicit song because it definitely has the anger of an explicit song. The fact that he's taking out the cursing is like it's it's detracting from the song. And his demographic might be a younger demographic or it might be like a younger audience that parents don't want to be listening to that. But that's 
That's what hip hop is about. That's that's like the struggle. That's the anger. That's the grittiness. Vulgar language is a part of hip hop for a reason because of the place it was birthed, because of the emotions and the social injustices that it came from. So it has a, it has like an under an undertone of anger in most rap. So of course cussing is going to be a part of that. So I wish that it I wish it wasn't censored. But I mean I guess I get it because of his demographic. But I'll just drop a couple million dollars on a crib, quarter million on a whip. I just sent my mom a grip. And first of all, I heard it all. I could write a perfect. Song. I Google the net worth of rappers hating and I don't respond. Middle finger from a private jet. I don't give a single fight. Every single person I have met in person on Twitter, they're tough. Yo. Yo, man, the, f the censorship is like pissing me off. He said, I don't give a flying fuck middle finger on a private jet. That's that's like dope wordplay, but but it gets lost in the fact that the app, but this song is un, is not sent. The fact that this song is censored, it needs to be uncensored so badly. And someone pissed him off enough. I don't know who's subtweeting. I don't know who's doing any of that shit. I don't know who's like subliminal disses in their bars or what have you, but they pissed him off enough for him to make this song. But I'm definitely fucking with this song more than I was fucking with the original two. I can't even stress that enough. That's how much I hated the original two songs that I did. This is enough to keep me on the line for one more song to see if see if we can round out that four and bat 500. And I'm not talking about any of the bars like I normally would be because there's not really any kind of like heavy wordplay or anything. It's all pretty straightforward what he's talking about. You know, you, you're mad at me, but I'm doing me. I Googled the net worth of all the people that are, that are dissing me and it's not even worthy of my response. Dropped a million on a crib, dropped quarter million on a house, gave my mom some money. Like there's nothing, there's nothing too crazy going on in the lyrics. It's all pretty, it's all pretty straightforward. So it's not really worthy of a breakdown. It's, you kind of just got to all take it in. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if rappers want to beef, I got the roast pan. Put them in the dirt like a UFO crash. Double time rappers mad I ah, murder it with slow raps. They want to beef, I got the roasting pan. I'll put them in the dirt, like I'll bury them. I'll kill them in their career like a flying UFO. Like like UFOs crash land in the dirt. That's a nice little bar. That one was worthy of a, worthy of a, that's a bar. And put them in the dirt like a UFO crash. Double time rappers mad I murder it with slow raps. All they do is go fast, turn them to some ghosts with the most facts. Slow clap, pulling triggers quickly with no blowback. Cracking under pressure like a cold glass. No fans, jealous. Yo, this rhyme scheme right here is fucking fire. The clapping is dope. This this is fire. And I can't understand what he says right there. Cracking under pressure like something. But the one before that, pulling triggers with no blowback, that one's fire because blowback is what happens with, like with an AR-15, for example. You shoot, you literally get gas blowback that blows back into the receiver group. That's what allows the receiver to go back and get a new bullet and cycle in a new bullet into the chamber. And then if you put a suppressor on an AR-15 or you put a suppressor on a, on a pistol or what have you, the blowback is even more. So he's saying he's pulling triggers with no blowback. That's a fire line. If he meant that. If not, that's a fire line from me. Most facts, slow clap, pulling triggers quickly with no blowback. Cracking under pressure like a cold glass. No fans, jealous that I rose fast. Y'all are on the rollback. Look at your career, it's a joke, man. Promise that I won't laugh. Say you got the smoke, can't afford gas. Oh man, so sad. You record your album in a closet full of clothes with a notepad. Strong nah. on the outside, muscles with no bone mass. Yo, yo, he went off right there. The whole rhyme scheme, the whole like two, the whole two word rhyme scheme. That shit was fire. The inflection in his voice right there, that, that whole shit was tight. And he said, you went all the smoke, but you can't even afford no gas. That's a bar too. And then you record all of your music within a within your closet where the clothes at. Yo, just calling out pretty much every every rapper that hasn't made it. So if you're like dissing Tom McDonald and you haven't even made it past past making music inside your closet, then you really don't deserve a response from him because you're technically on a whole on a whole under level than where he's at. He's on he's way up here compared to you. That's a dope line. And the demeanor and the confidence and the swag and just like the getaway child, like that whole that feeling that he gives in the delivery. That's that's fire. <laughs> Let's look at me for a second, man. I was deep in depression, making me weak and pathetic. I thought I needed they blessings. It leaves an impression. I feel the infection. Repeating the lessons will only lead to me, and that's a lethal injection. And I was chasing a dragon with no medieval invention. I go to sleep and dream my life would be for me if I catch it. I I was chasing the dragon with no med with no medieval invention. The dragon is what addicts or, or what people in that world are considered like the high, the perfect high. Like you're chasing the dragon every time you do every time you do drugs. And the more and more you get addicted to it, the further and further it gets because you're never going to reach it. You'll end up dying from overdose by chasing the dragon. That's a dope line, especially considering he's saying, let's take a look at me for a second. Let's look at where I come from before you start spitting shit about me. Let's see how I beat addiction. Let's see how I came up to the point where I'm at from 
from the lows of the lows where I was once before. That's fire. I was chasing a dragon with no medieval invention. I go to sleep and dream my life would be for me if I catch it. I let my demons possess me till I woke up in the wreckage and realized that I destroyed a whole cathedral of blessings. It's like my feet were magnetic, the street was still we connected. I yeah, that he said I woke up in the wreckage realizing that I destroyed a whole cathedral of blessings. That's fire. I like that. It's like my feet were magnetic, the street was still we connected. I couldn't seem to reach the sky no matter how far I'm stretching. And I was beaten to death and screaming for help for a second. Now I put everything I bleed into completing my records. I can't compete with my past, but I'm still seeking the relics and I believe Yeah, he's going off right here. I like this. I like I like the rawness. I like the realness. It doesn't seem like a gimmick. He's telling me his story. He said it felt like my feet were magnetic and the and the streets were metal and no matter how far I, how far I reached up, I can never catch those clouds. I can never catch those dreams because of the lifestyle that I led kept me down here on the ground. That's dope. I like that. Records, I can't compete with my past, but I'm still seeking the relics. And I believe with every breath I breathe, the sequel is better. No fear of surrender. I'm clear of the pressure. The tears I remember will never let me forget. I was near to the devil. I never claimed to be holy, but I got angels protection. I got a... Yeah, yeah, he's going off, man. I like the song a lot, actually. I told you, just because I didn't like his last two songs doesn't mean that I like him, doesn't, don't like him as an artist. He just needed to come with something that that I personally would would like more. He said the tears I remember will never let me forget that was near to the devil. That's fire. Like I might have changed, but I'm never gonna forget what I where I came from. So that way I can always keep that hunger. I can keep that grind. Got a barbed wire halo and devil horns I don't mention. Yeah, the Lord is my savior, but revenge is so tempting. I don't expect to see heaven. If that's the case, I respect it. Cause I tried to cage the beast, but it's woken up the broken lots. Of See, and then and then the production here is so is so much better. I mean, the production was fine on the other ones, but the production here is like it's angry. It uses different dynamics to get certain points of the song across. Everything about the song is so much better. And he said, if I don't get into heaven because I'm seeking revenge, then I can accept that. I respect that. Cause I tried to cage the beast, but it's woken up the broken lots of crushing everything I see like empty cans of soda pop. You titties on your knees like a grandma who don't own a bra. Put a bullet in your head like words you only spoke to God. I'm rowing through an ocean all alone inside an open box. Frozen from the blowing snow and soaking through my only socks. Yo, yeah, his rhyme scheme is fire for sure. The titties on your knees like a grandma with no bra that pff, that's not a bar that does not fit the whole that does not fit the that does not fit the whole theme of the song that's what it sounds like when you're trying to force the rhyme scheme and force wordplay that doesn't go with the song i'm rowing through an ocean all alone inside an open box frozen from the blowing snow and soaking through my only socks y'all noticed me and chose the heat so now the water's boiling hot you'd hope i croak i'm dope and coke don't crack it turn to solid rock hey i ain't talking to you losers like you know the cops i'm rich and that ain't bad for a kid who couldn't hold a job budget brand rappers all that gucci fake i own a lot you can't afford the way i live you trying to control the cause Oh, I'm in solo mode. That whole that whole part right there, that whole rhyme scheme, what he's talking about, everything about that part was dope right there. He's rowing the boat, he's row, he's you know rowing upstream. Y'all motherfuckers are out there making the water boiling hot, but it doesn't even deter him. It doesn't affect him at all. He just turns into rock. That whole shit right there was fire. And he's basically saying you can never be me no matter how hard you try. That is dope. I like it. He said I'm rich and that ain't bad for some kid who couldn't hold a job fire and this whole part is what i mean by dynamic range within the production like the beat entirely drops out so you can understand what he's saying clearer the reverb on his voice the echo of his voice the multiple stack layers of his voice it all goes away and it's just him talking on this one part then it jumps back into what it was that's tight this production is Whoa, I'm in solo mode, your promo won't affect the drop Artists that you promo don't have clout, the photo lights are bot Try to put me in the dirt, I'll thrive like you are growing pot You prototypes are hurt, y'all need work, let me open shop Y'all don't understand me like a burner phone Y'all prototypes are hurt, let me open shop and try to fix you, that's fire he said, I'm solo, your shit ain't gonna affect my drop. The artists that you promo, the only people liking them are bots. That's fire. Especially in today's world where like, where likes are done by bots and there's bots all over social media and bots are just like robotic, robotic people that are just doing things so to get the activity up for people who don't know how social media works. It's the same way that you can buy followers and you can buy likes and all that. All of that shit is just fake activity to make it look like, make it look like you're more popular than you are. Prototypes are hurt, y'all need work, let me open shop. Y'all don't understand me like a burner phone, it's coded top. You'll never see my POV like you don't know the GoPro off. Make sure that the drone is You'll never see my POV like you don't know the Gro like you don't know the GoPro off. GoPro people wear on their helmets, give you the point of view of the rider or this or the skier or whatever. And he said, y'all don't understand me like a burner phone, a phone you throw away during drug deals because it's like it's coded to talk. 
Like you can't understand. That's dope. That was a dope line. That you promo don't have clout, the photo lights are bot. Try to put me in the dirt, I'll thrive like you were growing pot. You prototypes are hurt, y'all need work. Oh, I didn't hear that line the first time. You try to put me in the dirt or you try to throw dirt on my name and I'll thrive like you're growing pot. Pot grows in the ground. That's fire. I didn't hear that one the first time. Let me open shop. Y'all don't understand me like a burner phone. It's code to talk. You'll never see my POV like you don't know the GoPro off. Make sure that the drone is all in slow mo. So when y'all get shot, the footage captures every single moment while your corpse is rot. Shoot it all on Woken Ons. Touch it up in Photoshop. Upload it to YouTube with a donate button for your mom. So alarmed. Y'all can never reach me with those broken arms. Untouchable as alcoholic's wallet at an open bar. Unbreakable Da Vinci code. And Untouchable like an alcoholic's wallet at a broken bar. Did he say broken bar? Me with those broken arms, untouchable as alcoholics' wallets at an open bar. Oh, at an open bar, untouchable. The broken was for the arms. Got you. You're untouchable like an alcoholic's wallet because he didn't have to pay at an open bar. That's why it's an open bar. You can grab as many drinks as you want. Alcoholics' wallets at an open bar, unbreakable Da Vinci code embedded in like most my songs. Gang is full of animals. You think my home is Noah's Ark? Past is full of broken hearts. Opponents that have blown apart. My logo on the stove. I let it smolder till they know the mark. Y'all were finding Nemo. My logo on the stove. I let it smolder till they know my mark. That's tight. Like the way you brand cows, like you know, you know their mark because you scarred them. But the other one before that, I wasn't really fucking with that bar. When he said my whole crew or all my fans are animals, you think that my home is Noah's Ark? Like, yeah, that's all right. It, I mean, it's it's the wordplay's there, but it's just not. It's just not a bar that's like ooh. You know? Till they know the mark. Y'all were finding Nemo. I composed a team of total sharks. Hid inside the reef and chiseled teeth till they were over shark. Y'all fishy rappers went to sleep to dream of coral seas and stars. We silently and violently reminded y'all the ocean's dark. Lordy, I ah, really feel. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, we had we had the first goddamn. That was a motherfucking bar moment right now. Ooh, that whole scheme right there. Y'all fishes are asleep in the coral reef. Y'all think that shit's all happy and go lucky. Meanwhile, my. Mean, meanwhile, me and my sharks, we've been sharpening teeth, just waiting for y'all to fall asleep. To remind y'all that the ocean's dark. This is a deep, dark place that we live in. There's no church in the wild. Yeah, that, ooh, that was fucking tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to that whole shit again because that was fire. Molder till they know the mark. Like y'all were finding Nemo. I composed a team of total sharks. Hid inside the reef and chiseled teeth till they were over shark. Y'all fishy ah. rappers went to sleep to dream of coral seas and stars. We ah. silently and violently reminded y'all the ocean's dark. Lordy, <laughs> I really feel sorry. Yo, man, that fucking, that four bars right there. That's the best four bars of the whole song so far. I mean, there were some good ones in there, especially when he's talking about his life and his struggles and his burdens that he came from. But that right there, ooh, yo, that's a bar. I still, I can't even get over it. I'm like, ooh, yo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Stars, we silently and violently reminded y'all the ocean's dark. Lordy, I really feel sorry for your corny bars. Maybe you'll improve, and this is setting up your story arc. I am more like Iron Man. You are more like Tony Stark. You're human. I'm a robo suit equipped with guns and poison darts. Choking y'all to death like I am. Y'all are Tony Stark. I'm like Iron Man. You're just a mere mortal. But that wasn't even the bar right there. The bar was when he said, y'all rappers are corny, but maybe y'all are doing that on purpose. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt so that way y'all can create a story arc. Like we came from the bottom, our raps were ass, we made it to the top, and then we got canceled or whatever the fuck. That story arc line was 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 dope. Poison darts choking y'all to death like I am Homer, home alone with Bart. I wish, I wish, I wish you would on every glowing star. Core is hard, high performance parts from a- I wish, I wish, I wish you would like every like a, like a fucking glowing star like you're wishing upon a star and then i'm choking all you rappers out like like homer home alone with bart bart simpson it's one of like the running gags on the show is that he chokes him core is hard high performance parts from a pro garage all i see is smoke and sparks every time your motor starts what more you got in store for me your death threats were ghost stories and what's next gonna be uh. painful your death threats were ghost stories because they never that's that's tight because i didn't really ever see them your death threats were ghost stories and what's next gonna be painful <laughs> gravestones i i i tom mcdonald you motherfucker all right okay okay right here bam like always that shit was tight i'm fucking with that for sure if he had made that the first song that i heard i would have been like fucking blown back like that fucking meme of that kid it was a little long not gonna lie the song is six minutes long with no break no hook that's obviously done on purpose for the in your face for the in your face attitude that the song presents yo to everybody that said i should do this song especially since i was like giving them a lot of shit for the prior two songs which even y'all said yo that is not his best work that is definitely uninspired work i was like all right i'm gonna believe y'all and then he drops this and you're like go listen to this shit because this is where we're at and i'm like oh okay i see it now 
Am I a fan of Tom McDonald now? I don't know. It's too early to say. We're still batting one of three. That's going to get you 333. That's going to get you to the Hall of Fame in, in Major League Baseball. But in terms of what, what's going on my Apple Music, that's not going to get you there. But now I understand in my brain why everybody was hyping him up. Now I just need more of that shit to be delivered. But yo, that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment. All that shit helps the algorithm push it out there to other people. If you like what you see enough, like I said at the beginning, you are now at the end of the video. Consider subscribing if you're about that, because this is how we do it. A little long form, a little long winded, but I'm giving you shit to think about. I'm telling you what's going on in my mind. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. Hit up the Discord. I'm pretty much in Discord every day, at least for a couple of hours. So if you want to talk to me and other like-minded people, the Discord is the place to do it. But that brings us to the end. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.